What's up guys, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and we're going to talk about how to paint a car as far as the sections and where you would start and end uh, when painting a car here. So we have a question from a member here. Hey Tony, I'm in the process of painting a 1972 Lotus Elan. I've removed the boot bonnet doors uh, to paint separately. Could you give advice on what order you'd spray the body, roof, rings, doors? All right, so if you're taking the car apart completely, it doesn't matter where you start. Just start on a panel and just paint it. Uh, seriously, if you take if the car is in pieces, it doesn't matter. I would just start with the hood, and then just just have it set up so when you're walking around the shop, it's easy to get to every piece. Okay, um, I actually thought you meant where would you start on a car, but let's talk about this. If your car is in pretty much a whole condition. Okay, without the mirrors, of course, you take some parts off, right? Let's just kind of go over where you normally start painting a car. So if you're starting to paint a car, the car is together. I usually like to start, you can start on the driver's side or the passenger side, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll start on the driver's side roof rail. So I'll start painting here. End it. Walk around the car, make sure the hose is above your shoulder. Pick it up back here, right, paint down the roof rail. Then I would proceed to do the door. I would do the, the passenger door, okay? Now at this point, you could go around the back of the car or you could go around the front of the car, okay? I normally go to the back of the car. So then after I do that door, then I'll do the quarter panel. I'll paint this whole quarter panel and then I'll do the whole back bumper, okay? Then I'll come around and I'll do this quarter panel Okay, and I'll do this door. You can start from the bottom and go up or start from the top and go down, however you feel. Usually, if I start from the top and go down, I'll continue and I'll start from the bottom of this fender and I'll go up. Okay, and then if I'm at this stage now, I'll probably just do go and do the hood like this. All right, spray, spray, go around the car, pick it up and do this, do the fender, right? And then I'll do the front hit the front. So that's one complete pass going around the full car. That usually takes 20 to 30 minutes depending on the size of the car uh, you're painting or the truck you're painting, whatever you're doing. It takes around 20, 30 minutes to go around the car. Then you will let that flash for about 20 minutes, 15 to 25 minutes, depending on your paint mixtures, your paint environment, whatever you know temperatures you're in. Normally, it's if you're painting it around 75 to 85 degrees, it's about a 15 to 20 minute flash time. Okay, then you're ready to go around the car again. You do the same exact thing. Start up back here, paint, walk around the car, pick it up, go around the back, do the quarter panel, do this, and go around. That's one full pass. So usually base coat, it depends on if you're doing a color change or not. Two to three coats going around. So that's basically two to three coats going around. Uh, but while you're painting, okay, let's just say you're painting, you did the whole front, and then you notice that it needs a little bit more paint somewhere, and then you decide to kind of paint this way. I still consider that going around the car once, okay, because you're just, you're just making sure it's covered, all right? That's basically still going around the car once. Or if you did the door and then you walked around the car after you noticed a little light spot, you just kind of go through some passing here, right? That's just going over your work again, all right? Um, and then clear coat, usually I like to just do two heavy coats around the whole thing. Make sure it's glossy, then you're good. If you want to go that third extra coat, you can, but two heavy coats is more than enough. So hopefully this helped out, gave you some ideas on how to paint a car. I kind of thought this question was uh, more towards something like that, but then I realized that it was um, in pieces. If it's in pieces, it really doesn't matter. Just get them painted. Um, the only thing you got to worry about if the car is in pieces is if you're doing custom color like candy or pearls or flake, it's going to be hard because you're going to have to make sure everything matches. So if you're doing any kind of custom color, I would really advise keeping the car together as much as possible this way. Because especially when doing candy, you know, you're going to be doing, you're going to be painting pretty much the whole side of the car at once when you're doing candy. You know, you want to go. You, you know, you're going to want to go long passes. You're not doing panel by panel. With candy, you're going to be trying to go like this to match it up. You know, that's the tricky part about candy. Okay, then you're going to have to go full length like that. All right? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Hopefully this gave you some ideas 
an inspiration, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. If you have any questions as well, put them in there. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. And if you're a total newbie, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, you can go up here and get a free 85-page auto body booklet if you're on uh, mobile. Click that. A little drop-down is going to appear. You're going to see a little 85-page book. You'll be able to click that link. It'll take you over here where you can put your name and email in to get uh, a free booklet on auto body and paint. We gave away tens of thousands of copies of this thing. People love it. And you're also going to get a seven-day auto body boot camp training um, on video. So I think you're really, really going to love it. It's Tony here. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Um, yeah, peace out. Oh, don't forget, check out the VIP program as well. Uh, this VIP program has helped literally over 10,000 people uh, learn a skill set that they could make money from, that they could impress their friends and family, that they could customize their own cars and not spend, you know, three, four, five, ten thousand dollars at a body shop where you could do the same thing yourself. These guys, they did these projects themselves from home. Um, and made amazing projects out of these things. So it's Tony here. Talk to you soon. Have a good day.